Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode from the Hermitcraft server. I've been busy. We had a live stream yesterday, and check this out. Look at the atmosphere as you're walking through here. We got these houses up on this side of the street. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. A little bit of a house over here, a little walkway. Um, not a whole lot of interior space. <laughs> You come in this door and you got a one wide hallway. Um, but I love the feeling that you get as you walk through. And and at this point, you can really kind of get an idea of my vision for this area. I think this is where it, it kind of starts to come together. Once you've got the, the houses and the structures on both sides of the street, walk down here. Hmm. So nice. And you can see that the, the grass is gone. We just have the pavement uh, and the the white uh, or the white, the, the stone slabs kind of bridge the gap from the gray in the walls and in the rest of the road into the white of the houses. And I think I think this really kind of came together. Some interesting details here. Uh, that weren't included on this side. On some of these doors, I put a row of trap doors above. Um, also, some of the roofs are a little bit of a different shape. On this one, the roofs were all kind of, um, sort of messy hipped roofs, meaning there was no, like, they didn't come to, like, a point, right? They're not triangular. They're kind of sloped and sort of, like, uh, sort of dome-ish. Uh, and on this house, or on this set of houses, oh, this is what we'll get into in a second. You, you didn't see this. You saw nothing. Uh, <laughs> On some of these, uh, you know, we've got kind of a nice point that these come to here and here. And then this one's kind of back to that hipped roof as well. I really like the way that this turned out. I think it turned out really well. There's a little uh, back porch over here uh, so you can get up to a second floor. Second floor doesn't look great, but once again, in the interiors are not the focus here. Um, I, I decided I made the decision uh, last well, not last episode, but a couple episodes ago, that we weren't going to worry about how the interior was going to look when we were designing these buildings. There will certainly be some structures where we're going to do that, where we're going to design it with an interior in mind, like this one that we're going to be building today, and like our cocoa bean farm. But for a lot of these structures, we're just going to kind of worry about how they look. Speaking of cocoa bean farm, haha, harvest the things and replant. This cocoa bean farm is working wonderfully. I haven't actually had to use any of it yet, but I'm sure that day will come, and then I'll be very glad that I've been diligent about uh, staying on top of the harvest. So, what do I want to do in today's episode? Well, my friends, it is time to memorialize the mushroom. We had a mushroom here. As we were building the keep, the mushroom was inevitably what we ended up standing on top of to look at the keep and kind of get an idea of like, does this look good from this angle? You know, how's it looking? And the mushroom itself had to go. It had to go, my friends. It was very much in the way and uh, really out of place. It stuck out like a sore thumb. But today we're going to build a structure that memorializes the mushroom. This is going to be a mushroom shop. Right? And I don't, I'm not planning to, I don't mean a shop in the sense where like I'm going to sell mushrooms to the other hermits. I just mean that this is going to be a mushroom shop within the village, right? It'll be like a little shop. And one of the features of this building is that we're going to have a tower here on this back corner and you'll be able to stand, uh, let's grab some blocks. You'll be able to stand on top of the tower and still get a good view of the keep. And I think it'll be a really kind of cool way to memorialize the mushroom that was here uh, as we were building the keep and that we used to, you know, get a, a nice distant look at the keep and make sure, make sure everything looks good. So I think this is going to be a really cool project. I think it's going to be a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to it very much. So let's get into it. I think I've got all my materials here that I'm going to need uh, and we should be in good shape. So let's go one, two. Let's build these ones up. Um, actually, they're going to have to go one, two, three, one, two, three. 
like so. And I think all of these are going to have to go up to that height. There we go. Uh, do, do, is that right? That looks right. And then over, come on now, jump please. Is that, that appears to be the right height. It's hard to tell sometimes. Um, but the idea is this building is going to be two stories in the front and um, maybe we'll dig it into the hill. Um, but what I'd like is underneath this building, down underground, there will be a mushroom farm, right? So we'll have a place, uh, not not a fancy one that's automated or anything like that, but basically just a place where we can plant a mushroom, uh, give it some bone meal, chop it down with a silk touch axe, and get, uh, or or if we want just regular mushrooms, uh, chop it down with an axe and, and get ourselves some mushroom blocks. So I think that'll be really cool. Okay, so that's looking good. Now we need... Um... Here, we need some spruce slabs and stairs. And I think this is actually going to be a little bit higher. We're going to go four. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay, so we'll have four in the front, four in the back. So here, like so. And then all of these are gonna have to go up another two. Can I, oh, nope, I'm not that talented. <laughs> I'm not that much of a parkour expert. Uh, let's sleep real quick. Do, 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 do. This village, the city, the castle, the whole project is coming along so nicely. I'm so happy with it. It's just, I, I honestly think that this may be the coolest thing, and certainly one of the most ambitious projects that I have ever tackled in Minecraft, without a doubt. It's, it's certainly among the most ambitious, uh, if not the most ambitious thing that I've ever tried to build in this game. So I'm really happy that it's starting to get to that point where my vision is kind of, kind of coming to fruition. You can kind of start to see how this is all going to shake out and uh, and how things are going to look, you know, as we go along here. Let's see, that needs to go up to there. I'm not going to be able to reach that. That's okay. Um, and then we'll get those ones. Let's just do this. Two, two, and <laughs> over here, there. Okay. Okay. That'll be two. Yeah. And we're going to have a little bit of like a kind of an uh, a, almost like a curved outside here so that we actually have some interior space to work with uh, once we get into doing the interior of this building. This little area over here, this is going to be how we get into the basement. This little one wide section right here. This will be how we get into the basement for this uh, structure and and do things. Okay. So, what, I, what I'm actually doing right now is something I probably shouldn't be. Let's tear this down for a minute. Let's do this. And right here, that part's going to stick out. This part's going to come up at an angle. And then I need to figure out, am I going to have... This part sticking out as well. I think right here we'll do something like that on these corners. Uh, and yes, don't worry, we will add the texture variation in. They're not just going to be the solid white because that wouldn't look very good. But something like that should work. And then here we can go back to making this. Oh, that's... That's definitely not what I wanted to do. Maybe we do that. Maybe we just make this one. Yeah, maybe we just go like uh, straight stairs like that. And I think that'll be fine. Yeah, okay, cool. So then over here, right there and right there. We're gonna bring those across and right 
here, we'll just put a slab. And then I'm going to worry about this half of the building um, later. Okay. So then this part would come up and over like so. Oh, did I? Oh, I <laughs> I missed one log right there. I was going to say that seemed to probably should use a, 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 a axe on that and not a pickaxe. I've been playing Minecraft for how long and I don't know <laughs> the proper tool to use? I'm an idiot sometimes. That's okay. Uh, okay, so we'll get all of this done. And then over on this section, I'm thinking here we want to bring it back in, right? Yeah, because this is essentially going to be one level over on this side. Um, yep, good. I do have more concrete powder. So we bring that down. And we'll bring that part up. And that part up. And then this will be the tower. Okay. So how does that look? And that gives us enough space over here for the road as well, which is good. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Okay. So then over here, I think we'll do something like this to kind of add a little bit to that part. This part's going to stick out a bit more, but that's fine. Yeah. This is actually coming out pretty well. The tower, uh, also, this needs to go. We know where the we know where the mushroom was. The mushroom was right here, and the tower is already marked out. So I think... Yeah, I think we're in a good place. Okay, so now let's do that right there. Let's put a slab here. I keep putting that log in the middle. We may actually do that at some point, though. That's not a bad look, I have to say. Um, slab there. Yep, this seems good. Okay, so we've got this structure kind of figured out. And then what we need to do is we need to build up the tower a bit. So let's do that, and let's figure out how tall... This tower has to be. Also, I want the tower to be spruce because I want it to contrast a bit with the white of the other buildings in this area. I want it to be a slightly different color. Uh, that should be good. Gonna want to go up higher than that. We'll just keep kind of going around until we figure out a good height. That seems like a pretty good height right there. Right? So here, I think you've got a pretty good view of the keep if we go up another two blocks. I think this is good. I think that's a good height. Let's see from here. Yeah, and keep in mind, there's also going to be a roof on this as well. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful. But I think this will be good. Can you see it from over here? A little bit. And once it has the, the pointy roof on there, you'll be able to see it a bit more because it'll have kind of a, a cone-shaped roof on this part of the tower. Yeah, this is good. Okay, let me get some of the the grindy stuff done, you know, texture variation, uh, kind of get the, let me get the roof laid out and figure out how I want to do that part and some of that kind of stuff. And I'll be back with you in just a minute. All right, guys, I am back and progress has been made. I think we are uh, we're doing pretty well. We've made a lot of progress. Uh, we got all the walls in place. We got the roofs in place. This tower is built up. Uh, still have a lot of detail work left to do. Still have to do the interior uh, and all that kind of stuff. Um, let me take a look at it. And actually, one kind of cool thing about this whole house situation uh, and how close they are together 
is that utilizing my mad poor my my my, uh, my amazing parkour skills, <laughs> I can get all the way up on the wall without actually flying or ender pearling or something. So, from over here, this it, it this roof looks a little weird just from this angle, but uh, from all other angles, it looks pretty good. You can see. Um, if you come up here, it kind of comes out and, and we're good. It's just this one spot where it looks a little bit funky, but I'm, I'm okay with it. Uh, it looks good from down below. It looks good from over here, I think. Uh, you can see a lot of the different stuff that kind of went into this. I had to rework the lower part. This was originally going to be two stories, but it was so wide that when I put the roof on it, it was, it, it was like up to here height-wise. It was just too tall. Uh, and it completely blocked your view of the keep. And what I like is that as you walk along this road, you catch little glimpses of the keep, right? So you walk along here and you can see just a tiny bit of it kind of poking out there. And then it disappears again. And then you can see more of it right here. And then you get to here and you can see even more of it. And you can kind of see it peeking through the crenellations. And uh, like, it's just, it's it's cool to have those little details, and we're going to have so much of that as we go along through this area. There'll be little things that'll kind of grab your interest as you walk along. For example, here, you're good, and there's this tower, and if you're turned just ever so slightly, you'll catch a little bit of a glimpse of it, and it'll kind of stick out because it'll be made of spruce. Uh, we're actually going to do some texture variation with that as well. We'll get to that in a little bit. Um... But you'll see little glimpses of things that'll kind of poke out and, and catch your eye and make you want to, you know, go look at them. And I think it'll be really cool. So, next step. I think the next step is to get the tower uh, un constructed. So, let's grab a few things here. Um, here we go. Let's grab some of this. We're also going to need some spruce. I do have some spruce slabs. Okay, I think we are in good shape. Let's take the the parkour route <laughs> or the parkour route <laughs> to get up on top of that roof. And I think there is one spot where I do properly have to Oh, actually no. No, I can get to it from over here. We can jump up this way and then from here I can jump up so I think that's pretty cool. Uh, so right here in these corners, I've built this up a little bit. Uh, let's go one, two, three in each of these corners right here. There we go. And then I think we're going to go. Do we want it to be? Hmm. Let's go four. Uh, can I make that jump? Yes. There we go. And then right here, we'll go stair. No, 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 no. We're not... Well... Yes. Yeah, we'll do the outer ring in spruce and dark oak. We'll do... we we'll use dark oak for the outer ring and the outline. We're kind of going to do it like we did on the tower there. We'll have, like, an outline of dark oak. And then the main portion of the tower will be spruce so let's do that and then we need this to kind of stick out a little bit so let's go dark oak blocks like so right and then let's go up over up over up over and then there's our center point right so we'll have a nice steep angle like so and I want to draw kind of the outline before I do the rest of the tower I think that's going to be the easiest way to go about doing this up here like so and then last but not least, right here. And that'll give us kind of an outline to work with. Let's sleep real quick. It is getting night. There we go. Do, 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 do. Sleep, 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 sleep. Sleep faster. 
It takes so long to sleep on the server. There we go. And now I should just be able to ender pearl my way back up there if I throw my ender pearl. Beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. So now we need to do the spruce. And I'm thinking we're going to do a stair, a stair, a full block. Because we want the outline to kind of stick out a little bit. If that makes, like, we want it to kind of stick up a little bit. Um, I think that was, that, that was so good. I'm, I'm, I'm a professional. Wow. Okay, trying again. There we go. Uh, and then we'll go here. And let's go slab, slab, stair, stair. Maybe we make this a full block right here, like so. And then can I turn this into a slab or is that gonna look funny? Maybe we just try it like that to start with. Uh, so we had slab, stair, stair. I need more spruce. Boop. There we go. And then over here, uh, we had stair, stair, block, block, block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm remembering now. It's, it's all coming back. Uh, let's actually turn, maybe we turn that into a stair instead of a slab. I think that would look better here. And right there. And then last but not least, we need to do this side. And it's gonna little little it'll look a little weird on the inside, but that's that's okay. It's fine. Okay. So something like that. Let's take a look and see how that looks from a distance. Oh, well, it would look much better if I put that part in, but I think... Hmm. I think that's... Oh, hi. I don't know where you spawned. Probably over here. Do I have any torches? Torch. There we go. Hmm. I think it's, like, too... fat. Or at least to me, it looks too fat. Maybe it's just this side right here that's throwing me off because we forgot to put that full block in. Let's try that. And let's take a look one more time from a distance. Ah, that actually looks a lot better. But what we need to do, I think... There we go. What we need to do is bring that up all the way, I think. Like so. And then we'll cap this off with dark oak like that. Let's give that a try. And let's take a look at it from up over here on the keep. That looks a little, that looks all right. Uh, looks pretty terrible from over here. <sighs> what about from over here? Yeah, I think it's just too much. Like, it's just too... It's too fat. It needs to be smaller, I think. Um, it looks very out of place. So, let me tear this down... Let me add the texture variation to the tower. Uh, looks like I'm going to need to do some trial and error here. And I'll come back to you with a progress update in just a minute. All right, guys, I am back and I've got the tower all worked out. I think the roof is good. I, I'm finally happy with it. Um, it took a while and I got the texture variation done. Now, before you see this, 
I want you to have an open mind because I know this is going to be controversial and I know that some of you are going to absolutely hate it. But before you hate it, hear me out, okay? This is our wall pattern. That is our wall texture variation. It's spruce planks, oak logs, and brown mushroom blocks. And I know that some people are going to absolutely hate the inclusion of the brown mushroom blocks, and it's going to feel very strange to some people. Um, but hear me out, okay? Hear me out. First of all, it does kind of fit with the color, right? It is a shade of brown. So it does work in that way. But my thinking here is that the brown mushroom blocks could represent... Uh, maybe mud or rotting wood, or also it could potentially be like some sort of a sealant or like a brown um, plaster, perhaps, you know, helping keep this tower structurally sound. Because my idea is that this tower would be a really old tower, right? It's super old. Like it's it's been here for ages and it's in it's in kind of rough shape, you know? Maybe other parts of the town have gotten renovated and have been well maintained, but this tower is pretty old. Um and it it ooh, am I out of food? I may actually be out of food. Okay, we'll eat our potato for now. Um but the idea is that this tower is is pretty old. It's been here for a long time. And the brown mushroom blocks kind of represent uh decay or also, you know, possibly sealants, mud, um, brown, plaster, anything along those lines to kind of help keep the tower together. And I think it works if you use your imagination a little bit. I mean, obviously this is Minecraft, so we don't have a texture that fits every situation perfectly. So sometimes you have to kind of use your imagination, and I think in this situation, it kind of works. I, like... It's kind of cool. I'm, it does look a little bit weird, but I think part of the reason that we think it looks weird is because we we never use brown mushroom blocks for building. It's just not a block that that you use very often. Um, and I think it's just weird to kind of see it at all in any situations uh, other than, you know, as part of a mushroom. <laughs> um, and I think this works. And then the other thing, too, is that the brown mushroom blocks... Uh, really kind of fit the theme of the mushroom building and paying homage to the the mushroom that was here for viewing purposes. And I, I don't think it looks bad. Um, I, I don't think it looks incredible. But at the same time, I think it works. And I think it's kind of a cool thing that you, you look at and you go, huh, that's interesting. You know, it may not be the greatest thing ever. It may not be something you look at and go, Wow, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen in Minecraft. You know, it's certainly not at that level. But I think it's kind of cool to just kind of see it. And, and it just kind of catches your interest because it's a color that you don't really see uh, anywhere else in the castle. So as you're walking by, you'll catch a little glimpse of the brown mushroom blocks. And then you'll kind of look at the tower and go, oh, what's what's going on over there? I, I think it works. You know, I, I some of you are going to hate it. I know. <laughs> I know that some of you are going to absolutely hate it, uh, but some of you may like it. And, you know, if if enough of you hate it, I may consider changing it. I'm not super attached to it or anything like that. I don't have like an emotional connection to it or anything like uh, along those lines. But I thought it was just kind of a cool, a cool thing to, to experiment with and try out. I also think the shape of the tower is much better. Uh, oh, oh, if I could please stop falling off of things, that would be just so good. Um, there we go. I think the shape of the tower roof is much better. It's thinner than it was, and I think this is infinitely better, uh, than what we had before. So I think that'll work. We'll probably put a, um, another couple fence posts on top and put a flag on it, uh, matching, not, not exactly matching the ones in the castle, but, you know, with going the same, uh, wind direction or whatever, because uh, I think that would, this would be a sensible place for it. Now, let's kind of get a feel as we're walking through here. You walk through and you can see a little bit of the tower poking up, and I 
thought I heard an Endermite. Maybe I'm losing my mind. Uh, you'll see a little bit of the tower poking up, and when it has an actual flag, a banner, uh, with color, it'll catch your eye. It'll really kind of catch your eye. And then as you walk through, you'll see the ones in the background of the castle. Here you'll get a good, uh, a little bit better view of it. And eventually it'll kind of get to the point where you're like, what is this thing? And you'll look at it, right? And then the mushroom shop will go right here. So all in all, I think this is really cool. We made some, uh, some very interesting progress today. And I'm really excited. Um, we are going to have to hold off on doing the interior and a lot of the detail work, I think, until the next episode because I am unfortunately out of time for this one. But let me know what you think. I'm especially interested to hear your thoughts on the brown mushroom blocks because uh, I know that's going to be controversial. Let me know if you like it or if you hate it uh, if, or if you just don't really care one way or another. Let me know. I think it's kind of a cool novel idea. Um, I, I think... I think given the circumstances, it can work, and it kind of works. It works enough that I'm inclined to keep it. <laughs> it works if you use your imagination, I guess would be the way to say it. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a, com uh, a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps up my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.